and raise unimaginable havoc. Uh, according to PBS.org, in the Civil War, 610,000 people lost their lives. Not only did the people that were for slavery die, but the people that weren't for it died as well. Now just think for a moment why they all died. They all died because of the fact that they couldn't accept someone with a slightly darker skin tone as an equal member of the human race. Humans are considered to be the smartest of all animals, but that war makes such a consideration seem very flawed. One time, my friend tripped me in school while playing soccer. I was very annoyed and tried to get him back. I ended up tripping over my own foot again in my irritation and made a fool of myself. What does this show? This shows that revenge gets you nowhere. And that's the reason why world peace is so hard to attain. It is so hard to understand a situation, realize what happened, and forgive or forget it. I mean, I didn't use my advice in my adventure earlier, but I believe a third grader has a lot more leeway than most adults. In India, there are 1.2 billion people, 435 different languages, and four major religions. Hinduism, Islam, Sikhism, and Jainism, according to Ethnologue.com. When the British came to India, they took over a country with no unity, 0%. But Gandhi brought some together. He brought 1.2 billion people under the same hood and four major religions together. Because they all had the same vision, to have a free nation. When people want something, they do whatever it takes, no matter if they're male, female, Christian, or Hindu. When they have the same idea and the same desire, they all come together. And if we want a world in peace, then reality is just around the corner. Your race, appearance, and color decide very little. If you want to achieve something, just that motivation will bring you to what you want. Hard work and perseverance are the only ways to triumph, no matter your race or color. America is the prime example. America was born from hard work. There are CEOs of all races, white, black, Latino, and Asian. In this country, we work hard together, and that is the reason why it's the number one country in the world. Giving chances to all races to be whatever they want to be, as long as their work matches their ambitions. We need the world at this level. The day that subjective terms don't affect what you achieve is the day the word impossible will be forgotten. To have a world where what color, race, or what religion you are to not make a difference, you have to have a world where people understand what is going on. The public has to open its mind to new people and different religions. Arrogance is the name of the shroud that lies between different races and religions. The time has come to take that shroud off and open up yourself to the world. The, when you can't find anything in common with someone, open up, widen your perspective, and see beyond your arrogance and find the common ground and use that to get along. Once one generation acts, every single generation after will follow. All you have to do is start. When your parents, family, or friends are being prejudiced or bigoted, stop them, correct them, do whatever you wish to, to solve their mistake, and create the foundation for the generations to come. Many can talk, but it takes a leader to act. The clock for action has started its ticking. When the people of the nations of the world live in harmony with one another is when war and racism will cease. It will be the day where there's no bias towards Americans, Asians, or any other group, and no awkwardness between religions. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that if America is to remain a first-class nation, she can have no second-class citizens. And this theory applies on a worldwide level as well. And the day this theory becomes practice is the day people will respect one another. It will be the day where there's no such things as enemies or rivals, but only brothers and sisters living in a brotherhood. Let's use this ideology and make, not make only mine, but our optimism come true. Thank you.